Think you have, think we you are have, listening think you to wide receivers and associate head coach Marcus Hagens right now going on. through drills. Think coach, you, you got us? On. Can you hear Kelsey? I can hear you loud and clear. What you got for me? Awesome. We got you loud and clear, too. Good. Talk me through what you're doing with these guys right now. Right now, we're working on sinking their hips, pumping their arms, making sure their transition is good in and out of their break. We don't want to lean over with our chest. We want to make sure we sink to our hips. That way, we can be efficient and get in and out of our break. Think your head, think your head. What's up, man? Good. It's Eddie Royal. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you been, man? Think your head, think your head. Pump your arms. Talking to a legend right I'm now. Good. I see, bro. See, I called y'all the best receiving core in the ACC. Tell me this. Could this potentially be the best group that UVA has ever seen? I mean, off paper, yes, we could be, but we got to prove it on the field. That's what remains to be seen. If these guys show up every day prepared, ready to work, we got a chance to write our own story and make history. I believe that. That's saying a lot, though. A lot of guys have come before them, so we got a lot of work. Marcus. Good. I appreciate that love, too, Ed. That's no a lot. Doubt. Now, Marcus, what, what's it, what, kind of confidence, what kind of confidence does your receiver room have with a quarterback like Brennan Armstrong, when you got a guy that you know he can put the ball in the right spot, all they got to do is get a good release and get open. How much confidence does that add to you guys? A lot of confidence, a lot of continuity, a lot of chemistry. That's why the guys just got to do their part. Never fool the quarterback, be where they're supposed to be. They'll have a lot of good opportunities to make plays. A lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. Good, pump those arms. Hope I'm answering the questions that you guys ask as we go. I apologize. Hey, so so think you have some pump y'all. All good. Marcus, so with Lavelle, a big 6'7 guy, he's coming off of an injury. What's the main thing that you wanted to get right with him before uh, getting to the season? That's a whole year not playing football. I want him to get back confident. Have strength in that leg. Have confidence in that leg. Get confidence back in his game. Learning the fundamentals, mastering the details, and then going out and being the best player that he can be. So, I think he helps pump your arms. And, Mark, so Marcus, how, how fun is it as an ex-quarterback to do these drills, man? Because I, I kind of wish I could come down there with you and throw <laughs> some of these balls to these receivers. The spiral is still tight, bro. So how does that feel with the XQB still slinging it? I'm on down number 26 steps. You can come down and throw a couple if you want. Pump your arms. Feels good, though. I'm normally in the ice and get some ice in the car. Can't do it, though. So turn those hips. But you're more than welcome, man. Come on down the steps. You can come join us. Good. All right. My man. Good. All right, we'll be right here. Get a quick sip. What Coach, else, this, what else you this is your 11th year with Virginia and in getting work with this new staff and Tony Elliott. What's the biggest change you've seen so far? I know it's early. I think just the approach. You know, Coach has a different mindset and vision what he has for the program and just making sure those guys live up to that expectation. I'm just happy to be a part of his vision and his journey. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here. But I think Coach Elliott is an amazing man, a great coach, and I'm thankful to learn from him, grow from him, and have the opportunity to work for him. What up, baby? You good? And Marcus, which receiver is like the brains in the room? A lot of times we have receivers sometimes. There are guys that are fast. There's guys that can go up for jump balls. But then there's some guys that just know how to get open. And Billy Kemp, in my opinion, is one of those guys. He knows how to find a hole in the zone of a defense, especially being undersized as a slot guy. So who's that guy for you in that room? Uh, probably uh, Dylan Tennyson. He holds the room together. All right, give me one second. All right, we're going to work outside release here. One, two, here, go through here. And then we're going up and we rebound in the ball. All right, everybody got that? Yeah, I would probably say Dylan He's the one who goes and he goes. Pretty much knows where everybody's supposed to be. Does his job. Coach, we appreciate the together. time. We're just listening in to you now. We know you got to get back to practice. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for coming to Charlottesville. Yeah, we appreciate it. We'll send uh, EJ and Eddie down at the end of the show so they get some work in with you as Absolutely. well. <laughs> I look forward to it. I look forward to it.